Party people, people who love to party. It's me, Mr. Bim. Uh, today we're going to be talking about vertical angles. Now, if you would switch on over with me, make sure that you have all of the stuff in front of you that you need, a piece of paper, possibly this worksheet that I've made for you, lovingly handcrafted, um, and make sure that you're working along with the video, not just watching, because that's not how you learn. All right, so. The first thing I would like you to do is if you have a protractor at home, bam, like this one, I would like you to measure the angles on this bad boy. You could even pause it so that you can measure the angles. What I'm going to do is measure these angles. But also, even I have to lengthen these lines out. As I put my center on the vertex where those two lines cross, you can see it doesn't quite go all the way out to the edge like I want it to. So I just take my pencil or pen and I lengthen it out. You can do the same. You should do the same. If you were doing the same, I would be proud of you. There we go. Now when I put my protractor on, center on the vertex, move those lines so that they line up. I gotta look real close. Ding. It looks like I'm at 10, 20, 30, and some change. This would be 35, so it looks like it's about 34 degrees. So I'm right there in here, 34 degrees. Now, what I want you to do is measure all of these angles. So I'm trying to be real careful not to pick up my protractor so that I can measure the other direction going this way. Now I'm going to be using these top numbers. Looks like it's 140, past 145 and some change should be 146 degrees. I'm going to pick my protractor up and I'm going to measure the bottoms. Do, 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 do. Meow, 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 explosion. Nice. Looks like we've got counting backwards. Ooh, does the upside down numbers bother you? Not me. I got 34 degrees. I can also read with my eyes shut. I don't know if you know that. And then this would be 146 again. So, what do you notice about these angles? Well, I can tell you what I notice. First of all, if I pass through my vertex, whoosh, whoosh, the two angles are congruent. You remember that? That's the equal sign with the mustache. That means they are equal in measure. I know what you're thinking. Mr. Beal, why didn't you just say that the two angles are equal? Because their measures are equal. The angles aren't equal. The angles are congruent. Angles are shape, so they get the congruency. Measures are number. They get the equals. Okay, same thing going this way. Ding, 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 ding. As I pass through the vertex, my two angles are equal. These are vertical angles. And vertical angles are congruent to each other. I said equal a second ago, didn't I? You got me, you got me, you win. Okay, so what else do we notice? Well, I noticed this. All my adjacent angles, you guys remember what that means? That means they are sharing a side and a vertex. They are touching the right beside each other. All my adjacent angles, like this guy and this guy, see my single swoop and my double swoop? These two are supplementary. And if we can go back, way back to when we actually had school, then the name for that for adjacent and supplementary angles is linear pair. That means they're both adjacent and supplementary. And it happens all around this thing. I go all the way around and bam, bam. No matter what, these two, supplementary. These two, supplementary. These two, supplementary. These two, supplementary. Versus these two, congruent. These two, congruent. That's what happens when we get two straight lines and we cross them with each other. We get this vertical angle situation. Ha ha. So what do we do with that in math? Why is that important? Well, once we notice that that is so, we can start making problems out of this and ask you to solve them. So there's a couple ways that we can go about this. We could work with the vertical angles first, or we could work with the adjacent angles. I know you, you want me to do the vertical angles first. The vertical ones would be 2x to nothing, there's nothing over there, and 3y to 108. So 3y equals 108 
divide both sides by three, and y is equal to hmm, 36 degrees. That's how much y is. Now, how the bleep are we going to find 2x? Well, these two guys are right next to each other, or even this one, because you now know that this has to be 108. So this and this should add together to make 180. That's 2x plus 108 is equal to 180 degrees. <laughs> I'm going to minus that 108 from both sides. I got 2x is equal to 72. Divide both sides by 2. I get x is equal to 36. Wow, they both equal 36? That's crazy. It happens. I've got a better question though. I know that this is 108 degrees. How big is this angle? Well, I'd take that 36 and times it by two, which according to this problem means that this is gonna be 72 degrees. And this angle over here is also 72 degrees. Bam, I have figured out all the information. Now you could be asked this in a different way. You could be asked, if I throw a bunch of points in here, boop, 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 and let's just use our ABCs. A, B, C, D. And in that center, that vertex is going to be E. That is the vertex. I might ask you, what is the measure of angle DEA, the Drug Enforcement Agency? Now remember the way that angles work, you start out, you go in, you go back out, and that names the angle. So this would be D, E, A. It's talking about this angle right here. The measure of angle D, E, A is equal to 108, or 108 degrees. I know that's weird, the, what should we call it? The notation, right before we left, you guys were the struggle with this notation. So it's gotta be super strange to be watching it at home and be like, oh snap, I still have to do that? Yeah, you do. All right, let me give you some other problems. This time I want you to try them. You can pause them first if you would like, and I will tell you what I want from you. First of all, I'm gonna name some points. We've got T, let's make this J. We've got N, and we've got D, and I'm gonna name our vertex O. So the first thing I would like you to find for me is can you find the value of x? I then want you to find the value of y. I then want the measure of angle John. And I would also like the measure of angle nod. Guys, go ahead and pause it up if you would and give that a shot. Like now, like do that now. Have you paused it yet? I'm not going to pause it. You pause it and do this work. Hey, welcome back. I'm assuming that you paused and did the work. All right, so for x, we would end up with 5x minus 12 equals 4x plus 3 because they're vertical angles. They're going through the vertex to get to each other in this straight line situation. Minus 4x minus 4x. We've got x minus 12 is equal to 3. Add 12, add 12. x is equal to 15. Oh, yeah, x equals 15. Done. So what about y now? Well, in order to get y, we're going to need to know how big one of these angles are. So we've got to take that 15 and plug it back in. 15 times 4, let's see, 4 times 15 plus 3. See, that'd be 60 plus 3, so 63. This angle and this angle definitely don't even look congruent. So that means they've got to add up to make 180 degrees. That would be 8y plus 5 is equal to, oh no, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me plus 63 is equal to 180. I'm sorry, guys, my bad, my bad. Add those two bad boys together. You got 8y plus 67 is equal to 180. Really, 67? Uh, this doesn't look like it's going to work out like I want it to. Did I not write the right numbers here? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh no, I'm just being dumb. Five plus three is an eight. There we go. Minus 68. Whew. Eight Y is equal to 112. Divide both sides by eight. Y is equal to 14. Ding. There's our Y is equal to 14. I'm taking up a whole bunch of space with all my writing. I hope you guys are writing in a less crazy fashion than me. But I mean, if you're not, it's all good. All right, now we need to know how big this angle is. We could plug that 15 back in for X, or we already know that this is 63 in the vertical angle. So this also has to be 63 degrees. Or you could plug in 15 for X. I don't care, I just, I just know that it's 63. So this is 63 degrees. And the last part, angle nod. Well, how am I gonna figure out this? There's not even any letters and stuff here. I should start crying. Or instead, these would normally make 180. So this would be, I guess, 180 minus 63, because I'm just gonna take that part off to get this leftover part. Seven one, looks like it's a 117 degrees. 117 degrees. Guys, if you got that, you're good to go. The practice for this will be as easy as that. Like, that's just about it. So, as always, stay safe out there. World crazy.